Before we show you how to put up your own project on the layer, let's have a very quick look at someone else's project. This is a shark project in South Africa. You can see that they've put in some nice images, text, there are some links to their own website and to other websites. Here is an extra little bit of information with more images, links to archive, that's a click-through link to the archive website, and they've also added some YouTube videos. There are links to their sponsors, to their sponsors' websites, and there's a link to their own website as well. So let's get started and have a look at how you can add your project to the layer. Click on the Add Your Conservation Project button on our website and register. When you've entered your registration details, you'll be advised that you're going to get an email, and when that email comes into your inbox, click through on the link, and you'll be taken directly to the Mapper database. This is a typical new user record, and there are no items recorded yet because this is a new user. You're going to click through on My Research Projects. You'll be taken through to the project screen, and we need to add a new project. Click on the Add New button, and you'll be taken through to the new project screen. There are many fields you can fill in. We don't have to fill them all in, and to get started, we're just going to do a few. First, let's get a decent project title in. It needs to be clear, obviously, and we want a project subtitle, perhaps, to just clarify that a little bit. It's really important to accurately locate yourself on the map, and you can either enter the latitude and longitude directly in these fields, or you can move yourself to the right place using this little Google API. You can zoom in even closer than we're seeing on this map. The coordinates will fill themselves in automatically. Next, let's add in some personal details, project leader, a contact person, a website, and a website title, just to make sure that everyone can actually get hold of you. OK, let's press the Insert button and come back and have a look and see what it is we've done. There's a nice feature inside the record which shows a little mock-up of what your bubble will look like on Google Earth. You can see that this one still needs a bit of work, but we've started. OK, let's put something into the home page of our project. There's a title, some data, and if we press Update and go back and look at the mock-up again, there we go. Now we've got a bit more information, the project's coming together. But it still looks a little bit colourless, so let's add an image. We're going to add an image from our PC. Go down to the Choose File button for the home pick, click on it, select something from your PC, and then add a credit if you think it's necessary. Now press Update again, and let's have a look at what we've done. Here we go, sliding down to the mock-up, and there it is. Now we've got something that is beginning to look really quite exciting. Let's update and continue, and see what other fields we can fill in. The Update and Continue button moves you through the tabs at the top of the page. Let's add a country. Which country are we working in? In this case, it's Zambia. I put in ZA, and immediately we get Zambia in there. There it is. Update the record, and move on. What conservation areas are we interested in? You may not be interested in any, but in this case it's Luangwa Valley. Just a few letters gets us both the Luangwas. Let's accept them. Moving on. The next tab is Organizations. This is where your sponsors logos. If it's already in the database, put it in and select it. If not, use the Add New button in order to add one of your own. We're going to put a couple in, and then we're going to update the record. The next thing which we could do would be to upload GIS work. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave the rest for now and go back to the main tab. On the main tab, we can have another look at our mock-up. And now we've added a few organizations and other information. And there they are. Sponsors, logos, links through to their site. Good stuff. Now what we need to do is update and exit. And just notice that there's a little red no in the middle of this page. That means that this won't show on the internet yet because it hasn't been approved by the moderator. You'll get an email as soon as it's been done, usually within a day of you putting this in. And when you've done that, then you can come back into this record and edit it. Once you've received that email, log back into your record, click on the Edit button, and then just come down until you can find the flag Show on Live Layer. If you're ready to show on the Live Layer, click it, exit, and you'll see that you've now got all greens in the live box. It can take up to 24 hours for your project to appear on the live layer. Either go to it by zooming in on the Google layer or by selecting it in the left-hand menu of Google Earth. And then you can check out the other stuff that's around you as well. And here you are, your project in context with other people's projects, critical habitats, and national parks. 
Thanks very much and don't hesitate to let us know if there's anything else that you need to know. Bye for now.